Sounds like you found out something in there. Share your knowledge. Team Rocket has found a psych... psych radar, you say. As delicate as those contraptions are, I didn't think it would have survived the flames of the fire. A psych radar serves the purpose of detecting psychic fields. Their long range makes them very notorious for tracking down powerful psychic type Pokemon. And I imagine Team Rocket plans to use it to find Mewtwo, the artificial Pokemon whose psychic powers set off the mansion fire. Well, it turned out to be a good afternoon. There is a lot to think about, but first, I must leave for my gym to offer you that fight you long for. Be well prepared. They say my fire type Pokemon are unrivaled, although I consider myself better at riddles. Okay. Hello, Challenger. You see, in this gym... First riddle, Mark. What kind of Pokemon are the warmest... Are the warmest to cuddle... Cuddle with on a winter night? Uh, Vaporeon, Bug-type, Fire-type. Mr. Blaine, we agreed that you would not leave... Until the end of the gym test. Oh, sorry. I just wanted to start as soon as possible. You ruined my presentation. Anyway, to reach the leader, you will have to go through some doors that will pose a series of puzzles. If you answer the riddle incorrectly, your Pokemon team will suffer a disadvantage in the next battle. As you can imagine, your opponents will be using Fire-type Pokemon. You might want to use Water, Rock, or Ground-type moves. Take this. You'll need it. Good luck on your way to glory. Okay. Oh, there's three doors. Which of these Fire-type moves has the most power? Um, Heat Wave. So I think Heat Wave is 95. Is that the right answer? Go to the next room to find out. Oh boy. Your answer was correct. Now face my assistant in a fiery battle. My mind has failed to direct the power of the flames. Excellent battle. You can go through the next door for a new puzzle. What about the other doors? Oh, wait. They all lead to the same place. Huh. Solve the following riddle. What fire type starter would you find in Hoenn? Uh, Torchic. Is that the right answer? Go to the next room to find out. Your answer was correct. Now face my assistant in a fiery battle.
You have a way with fire. Excellent battle. You can go through the next door for a new puzzle. Solve the following riddle. What legendary dog is a fire type? Ente? Is that the right answer? Go to the next room to find out. Your answer was correct. Now face my assistant in a fiery battle. The heat never bothered you. Which of these moves does not benefit from the presence of the sun? Um... I think the answer is hurricane. Does growth benefit from the presence of the sun, though? I actually don't know. I don't... If it does... Because I know Hurricane... That benefits from rain. Because I think in the rain, Hurricane is 100% accurate, right? But I don't know if growth benefit... I'm going to go with Hurricane. Okay. So wait, does growth benefit from the sun? If it does, I didn't know that. I just knew that Hurricane benefited from rain. So, yeah. Oh, what the heck? Regional Arcanine, that looks sick. It's Fire Rock. Your power is off the Kelvin scale. <laughs> what is the name of the handsome and intelligent leader you are going to face? Blaine, Kane, or Maine? Is that the right answer? Go to the next room to find out. Oh boy, okay. Are we ready for this fight? I guess so. Mega Houndoom. Good to know. I've had such a good time watching you suffer with my riddles. I didn't really suffer though, they were pretty easy riddles. Well, you got them all right. That deserves an extra prize at the end of the match. Ooh, extra prize, you say? Maybe it's Houndoomanite? You've already seen that the destructive... You've already seen that the destructive capacity of fire-type Pokemon is praiseworthy. But I prefer to use them in a more, let's say, constructive way. Since I am also a researcher, as well as a gym leader, I would like you to come out, come out of this confrontation having learned a few things. By the way, behind me is a chroma key. I'm gonna use it to change the battle background and add a little extra spectacle. <laughs> Let's fight it out. 
I hope you have a burn heal handy. I don't. Oh, wow. Yeah, that background does look sick. <laughs> it's like we're fighting in a volcano. I should have expected he was going to start with something that can bring out the, the sun. Uh, do I dragon dance? Not even half. Maybe I do Dragon Dance then. So I think if we Dragon Dance, we should be able to knock it out. Oh, we swapped. Okay. I'm assuming that Durbana Tan had like Thunder Punch or something. Turdinator. I think I'm going to go for Bounce. Because I want to stall out this... Uh, the sun. Oh boy, he went for solar beam. Okay. Actually, there's no point in, in uh, stalling it out because I just realized he still has the uh, the Torkoal. the Mega Houndoom. Am I faster? I am. But I can't knock it out. But he's gonna miss the Fire Blast. There's the Torkoal. Goodbye, Torkoal. Goodbye, Mega Houndoom. Sunflora. Let's go for bounce. Goodbye, Sunflora. Last one is Typhlosion. You're about to unleash a hellish heat. Have you thought it through? Gyarados just 1v6 Blaine's entire team. What an amazing battle. I've been reduced to ashes from lighting my fire so much. Wonderful. I would say even more radiant. You played with fire and it worked out well. I give you my badge. Seven down, one to go. And I will also grant you a TM. I trust it'll be a very useful one for you. TM 38 Fire Blast. Okay. Now, if you will allow me, we must return to the matter of Team Rocket and the, psych the Psycho Radar. I've taken the liberty of telling my friend Bill, the Pokemaniac. I think you already know him. He is working on a project that you might be able to help him with. He's waiting for you at the gym door. Okay. You got some plates. You get more capsules for not having failed any riddles. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. It's been a while, Mark. I see that you have progressed in your career towards the Pokemon League. Professor Oak will be very proud of you when he sees you. Blaine has brought me up to date on the situation. Everything points to Team Rocket trying to capture Mewtwo, the artificial Pokemon that was created in the Burned Mansion, but escaped to an unknown location. And I'm afraid that Giovanni has almost everything ready to start his big plan. 
We have to go to my house in Cerulean City. I have also notified your friends to meet to meet all of us. There, I will explain my plan to stop the, Giamb the Giovanni's ambitions. Let me know when you're all set to go. Okay. Um... Here, hold on. Before we head out, I'm gonna just I'm gonna check the uh, the route north of here that leads towards Pallet Town, just to get some extra XP if there's any trainers and some extra items if there are any. Route 19. Hey you, do you want to see my mastery of fishing? Not really. Ah, my line broke. A lure ball? Check out my awesome swimsuit and awesome Pokemon gear. Are we done? TM26 Earthquake! Wait, that's just what I needed. Finally! Wait, Gyarados can also learn Earthquake? I might have to teach Gyarados Earthquake. Actually, no, I think Crunch is more useful, honestly. In case you run into uh, any ghost types. I only catch garbage. I need to take it out on someone. Wait, what? Oh yeah, uh, that is uh, not good. Oh. Oh, okay. Let's uh let's calm down, Gyarados. How about that? Anger does not lead to any good port. Polyrath.
pearl string. Mint. Okay. I just get into the water, and my body seems to be as light as a feather. I'm sinking into the depths. Yeah, that's not good. Salt vest. Cool. All right. Well, that was Route 19. Now we can go back and talk to Bill. Oh, no, 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 Before, I always, I keep forgetting about the Johto gym leaders. Let's, uh, let's battle Wallace real quick before we talk to Bill. Oh, what a pleasure to meet a person of such exceptional beauty. Although, nothing compares to the sheer beauty offered by the Kanto region. I was right to select it as a tourist destination. Such beauty inspires me to battle, though it is my duty to warn you that my talent with aquatic Pokemon knows no rival. Are you still have the courage to accept my challenge? What do you say? Will you offer me a unique challenge? Ludi Ludi Colo. What? How? Survived on one HP. Mega Sharpedo. You don't train Pokemon. 
You make art. Believe me. Oh. I thought my arts were unparalleled. But here is someone who, who not only does not fear them, but surpasses them. Such a feat will not go unanswered. I will never forget our fated meeting. I would also like to present you with this. Aquatail. Okay. Okay. Now I think we're done here in, uh, in Cinnabar. At some point, I want to go and try to catch the legendary birds, so I need to stock up on Ultra Balls. It's by like... It's by 50. I'm not even sure if 50 is going to be enough. Uh, 22 more. There we go. Now we have like 80. Maybe before we uh, we fight the last gym, we'll uh, we'll head out and try to capture all the legendary birds. I don't know where they say Moltres is around here. I think there's like a rock climbing spot over here. Yeah, maybe we have to go up here to get to Moltres. So we probably actually can't collect because I want to get all of them at the same time. So maybe we wait until we get rock climb before we uh we try to capture them. All set to go. Perfect. With my boat, we'll get to my house in a heartbeat. Wow, Mark. I'm surprised you've had time to meet with to meet with us plebs. Don't have any mega corporations to save? Blessed Arceus Blue, will you put that attitude aside for once? Okay, we're back. Professor Oak is rarely late. He is un he is usually very punctual. Did you also invite my grandfather? Sorry, Bill. I had many urgent calls to answer. Undoubtedly, something extremely serious is happening. Hey. It's been a long time, kids. It seems like forever since you left Pallet Town with my Pokedex. I must say that I am very proud of your progress. Look how much you and your Pokemon have matured. Huh. I guess some more than others. Good. Now that we're all here, I will update you on the situation. Let's recap from the beginning. A few years ago, Team Rocket funded the creation of an artificial Pokemon using the fossilized remains of the ancient Pokemon Mew. This artificial Pokemon was named Mewtwo, a creature with psychic powers beyond measure. But Mewtwo got out of control and destroyed the laboratory where he was born before fleeing and hiding. Since then, Team Rocket, led by Giovanni, have been searching the region relentlessly for him. And, according to the last calls I have received, Giovanni has gotten his hands on two artifacts. A psychic radar that would allow him to track Mewtwo quickly. And a Master Ball, with which he could inescapably capture it. Is there nothing in our power to prevent Giovanni's ambitions? That man seems to be the devil himself. I don't want to imagine what he would do with such a power. I think so. We have some room to maneuver. I don't know if you're familiar with Cerulean Cave. I've been researching it for months, and it's the main reason I settled in this area. Yes, 
It's that cave in the mountains of Cerulean City. It has some very colorful Pokemon, doesn't it? I did some expeditions as a research photographer in my youth. Great. So it turns out that some strange psychic fields have appeared in that cave. And not only that, but their Pokemon, apart from being colorful, are now very aggressive and dangerous. Oh, now that is unusual. And you think Mewtwo has taken up residence in the depths of Cerulean Cave, don't you? And that's why the psychic fields, the psychic fields appeared. We just have to be faster than Team Rocket and get to him first. Well, you've got your work cut out for you, kids. Hey, call me exquisite, but shouldn't this be a mission for the Elite Four? That's what they are paid for with our tax money. You are right, but I have contacted the four members, and they are all busy quelling Team Rocket's attacks at different key points in the region. Possibly, it's all part of a meticulous operation by Giovanni to keep them distracted. Oh. Hmm. Well, in that case, just send Mark. You sure don't need all need need us all. Wait, what? You sure don't need us at all. <laughs> don't listen to your grandson's nonsense, Professor. The three of us will go and do a great job as a team. We won't let you down. I know you won't. The Pokemon world is in good hands with you defending it. Bill and I will stay here, monitoring the situation. The entrance to Cerulean Cave is somewhat hidden. Look for the river from Cerulean Cave or from Route 24 and navigate its waters until you find the entrance to the mountain. Good luck, trainers. Okay. Uh, 